Here are some wrestlers that should return to WWE. First one on this list is Heath Slater. Heath Slater had a long run in WWE before he was released during the pandemic. Shortly, he found a new home in TNA Impact, but would shortly leave. He is now a free agent. With his former 3MB members holding gold in the past, only time will tell if his road sees him return to WWE. In today's WWE, there are barely any more luchadors besides Rey Mysterio and Dragon Lee. I think bringing back Callisto and Lince Dorado would be great. After their 2021 releases, they found themselves tagging in Mexico on the indies. You can easily bring them back and tag in NXT or SmackDown and win some titles. Next is Mickey Milf James. Mickey James is undoubtedly one of the top female pro wrestlers on the planet, who has worked at a very high level at her age. She became a huge deal in TNA during her latest stint with the company. When she was released in 2021, James made her return to TNA a couple of years ago and competed in several memorable feuds since then. This included the excellent last rodeo set of matches, where her career was on the line during every match. She would win the Knockouts title during her current run in TNA, but her time with the company ended a while ago. With her husband Nick Atlas in WWE, we could see her do one final run in the company. Formerly known as Evan Bourne in WWE, Matt Seidel <laughs> is a fucking jobber. In AEW and ROH constantly, jobbing to guys like Sin Cara, Bootleg oh, Rey Mysterio, Chris Jericho, and Malachi Black. If Seidel thinks it is time to switch back to WWE, he would fit great and put on bangers with guys like Ricochet, Dragon Lee, and many others. The Iconics had a decent run in WWE, capturing the WWE Women's Tag Team Championships at WrestleMania 35, becoming the first all-Australian tag team champions in WWE history. The two would break up as the result of losing a feud with the Riot Squad in August 2020, and eventually be released simultaneously by the company in April 2021. The two resumed teaming up following their releases, now going by the name the inspiration. They eventually signed with Impact Wrestling in October of 2021 and would win the Impact Knockouts Tag Team Championships in their debut match at Bound for Glory. After losing the titles, the two would step away from in-ring action in April 2022, ending their tenure with Impact Wrestling. If WWE decides to bring them back, it will help the women's tag division a lot. Keith Lee has had a tough run in AEW due to it being plagued by injuries, and at this point, he's something of a forgotten man on the roster. His long-term future is very much up in the air, as even when he has been fully fit, AEW hasn't gotten behind him to the level that people expected. While Lee's main roster run in WWE was a disaster, his time in NXT showcased how highly Triple H thought of him, and the chance to work with him again could be appealing to the Limitless One. I have no clue why this man is still in AEW. Dustin Rhodes' most memorable moment in AEW was his match against Cody at Double or Nothing. As of now, this man is barely on television. His contract is set to end in September 2024. I can see him going back to WWE and managing Cody. Fans thought that Miro was going to get a main event push in AEW, which is something that audiences had wanted from his time in WWE. That hasn't ended up happening, but he has continued to showcase great charisma and in-ring talent, all of which WWE would benefit from having. After a difficult period in his personal life due to his recent split from C.J. Perry, opting to hit the refresh button on his career could be something that he chooses to explore. Malachi Black was known as Alistair Black in WWE, while Buddy Matthews was known as Buddy Murphy. Both men were released by WWE on the 2nd of June 2021. Black appeared in AEW just a few short weeks later, but Matthews did not become All Elite until February 2022. 
Speaking on Wrestling Observer Radio, Dave Meltzer commented on House of Black's cage match with FTR and Daniel Garcia and implied both Malachi Black and Buddy Matthews are waiting for a return to WWE and questioned AEW's wisdom in seemingly never having the House of Black never lose cleanly. It might be a while for them to return, as their contracts don't expire until 2027. Matt Cardona, formerly known as Zack Ryder, spent 14 years with WWE and was unable to reach his potential as a star there. He was eventually let go by the company in 2020. He has since found a lot of success on the independent scene where he has worked for several companies. He's held the GCW and NWA World Heavyweight titles since then. Cardona took to X and reflected on the fourth year anniversary of his release. He wrote, On April 15, 2020, I was released by WWE. 14 years of highs and lows over in an instant. Zack Ryder needed to die for Matt Cardona to live. But these past four years were never about proving people wrong. They were able proving myself and my fans right. That's exactly what I did. I became the deathmatch king. I became the indie god. I became the world champion. I'm not just a free agent. I'm the agent. I can show up against anyone at any time. Because I'm Matt Cardona, and I'm always ready. Matt Cardona also believes he will return to WWE eventually. It remains to be seen whether fans will finally get to see Matt Cardona finally make his return to WWE one day. And there you have it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching.